Alright, so I've thrown some more paint on this. I think it looks a bit better now. Um, and I've got some Dowel 5045 props on here. Um, so I'm going to do a quick press test with this. Alright, so this battery was at 15.8 um, when I started, and now it's showing... ...15.3, so obviously it sags a lot under, a, under draw when I'm flying. So for this first uh, six inch Maiden, I'm gonna be recording the DVR footage, which will have the TBS core uh, current and voltage on screen display. I'm gonna be recording that on these goggles here while I fly a line of sight, and then I'm gonna check the video, see how it looks. And then I brought a second battery, so hopefully we can do an FPV uh, Maiden as well. Let's get into it. All right, so hovering throttle is about 25%, which is about what I expected. Oh, this is kind of funny. Look at this. I'm gonna try to hold the sticks up here. I'm gonna give it some altitude. And then when I drop the throttle to absolute minimum, look at how slow it is coming down. All right, while the battery's high, let's do some reps. Oh man. Slow losing altitude with this. I need to um, adjust the throttle settings because it's hard for this thing to lose altitude. Maybe that, or I need to enable. Uh, I already have one shot enabled. Maybe I need to enable dampen light because if you look at this, I'm going to hold the control up here. It takes so long for it to lose altitude. Here's zero throttle. Maybe I'll have to adjust the min throttle. You guys could be helpful here, actually. Alright, so, in a conclusion, the only issue that I can find with this frame right now is that it can't slow down. Um, the propeller speed, I don't know if it's because of the 6 inch props and the heavy motors, but it's having difficulty slowing down the propeller speed. I'm used to being able to burst the throttle and have the quad drop as soon as I drop the throttle. This quad doesn't drop and it just... Yeah, it slowly settles, which is kind of weird. 
which I'm not complaining, like it's kind of nice, but it's a bit slow. Also, I have this issue where the min throttle command is high enough that when I try to land, look at this. <laughs> That's really funny, actually. There we go. All right, so I'm going to quickly check the motors aren't even warm. ESCs are a little warm, but that's fine. That is an impressive setup, a seriously impressive setup. All right, so I'm about to try to do a, um, an FPV Maiden right here. Uh, six inch on four cell. Um, so let's see how this goes. Walking over FPV. Set her down. Power is pretty incredible right about now. Certainly is a bit of an issue uh, losing altitude with this. I also think there might be an issue with this PAL camera. I'll have to put my NTSC, my good NTSC one on here. Definitely a lot of uh, interference here. I'm gonna. Go ahead and come in for a landing. Interference is actually becoming almost unflyable right now. No clue if that's the uh, camera or what. Let's see if we can set her down real good. Ouch. So that's the problem when you can't land is you have to kill it in the air. How are you doing, baby? You all right? Bad news, my friend. All right, so I am still going to rip around a little bit with it, uh, line of sight, I think. the power of this thing. Really liking the look of it. And yeah, I'm gonna change these antenna tubes. I don't like the antenna tubes. I'm probably gonna get a different transmitter antenna as well. Um, and I've got the purple LEDs in the back, which aren't really rated for four cell, so I have to get a regulator in there. But So in conclusion, this here is a really bloody fast build. Uh, six inch on four cell. It's 
properly fast. Based on my uh, on the DVR recording, it looked like it was hitting 40 to 50 amps full throttle, which is about what I was expecting, which is perfectly safe for my ESCs and battery. I will be looking to get a bigger battery because those are a bit old and quite heavy. I'll also be looking to uh, sort out the issue with the min throttle command where it was just kind of hovering as soon as I put the throttle to minimum. But other than that, super, super happy with this build. Absolutely love the build quality, the way it went together. And I'll hit you guys up next time. Take care.